out of this evening. It's your favorite dark skinned chick in the whole wide world, Rashida Strober. I'm back. I've been busy a little bit. I am the inventor of dark skin activism. I am the world's first dark skin activist. And I'm coming at y'all because I'm making this video because it's just on my heart to just to just say this and let people know that this dark skin activism thing does not include all dark skinned people. You know, I look around at the black community and some dark skinned people and I see the things that they do. I see the things that they do to hurt themselves, their families, their children, their communities, and they pretty much just don't give a fuck. And you know, if you got some kids watching this video, what, just tell your kids to leave for right now because I might do a little bit of cursing because I'm sick and tired of black people destroying themselves. You know, it's just real fucking sickening, you know, and we got all this stuff going on in the black community. You got people that this African bad bottle dude, let me talk about him. This motherfucker is, I don't give a fuck if he was black as the dress that I'm wearing on. In my opinion, to me, to me, and I'm talking about my opinion, I'm not talking about your opinion or anybody else's opinion. I'm talking about Rashida's opinion. I don't defend him. I don't give a fuck if he's, like I said, dark as the dress that I'm wearing. I will never defend a nasty, evil, fucking child molesting son of a bitch that took advantage of innocent children, that took advantage of innocent teenagers. I don't fucking defend that kind of shit. I don't give a fuck how black you are. I'm not defending these motherfuckers that's out here abusing drugs, that's having babies that are addicted to drugs, that's uh, doing drugs and leaving their children behind. Motherfuckers ain't raising their kids because they're so busy trying to get high. I don't fucking respect you. I don't give a fuck. And I don't feel sorry for you. And not, a lot of you might come and say, oh, well, they had this happen to them. They had that happen to them. You know what? Here's what I got to say. Get a backbone. Stand up as black men and black women and get a fucking backbone and don't fucking make excuses. That's what our African ancestors have done. You know what I'm saying? These child molesting motherfuckers like this African bad bottom motherfucker because that's what he is. And I don't have no respect for him. I don't care how many people in hip hop like him or what he supposedly could. I don't give a fuck about all of that. You mess with a, chi a child, that trumps every fucking thing. Like I said, you got these motherfucking drug abusing motherfuckers that think it's cool to do drugs and not take care of their children. Children, you know, they doing everything in a book, smoking weed, uh, crack, heroin, cocaine, running around this motherfucker. I don't give a fuck if you're dark skinned. I don't care. I don't defend you and I don't fucking respect you. I don't. There's no excuses. You see. I don't make no excuses for myself, y'all. Let me tell you something. I'm a, I am my worst and biggest critic. I hold myself to a, higher, a high standard, an extremely high standard, as a fucking dark-skinned person. You understand? And I'm still not at the level of perfection where I feel I should be. So why in the fuck should I feel sorry for these son of a bitch motherfuckers? These motherfuckers that's going around committing crimes, in the black community, you commit in crimes against your own brothers and sisters. You know, you commit, how do you go and you commit a crime against your own brother and sister? I don't respect you and I'm not advocating for you. You know why? Because you should be holding yourself to a higher standard as a dark skinned person. We can sit up here and talk all day and all night about what white people have done, white people this, white people that, blah, 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 blah. But you know what? I feel like, yes, white people are at the root cause. Yeah, because what they did, they took their asses over to Africa and they enslaved us and they brought us over here. And, you know, we are the offspring and there are a lot of problems associated with that. But you know what? No one is putting a fucking gun to your head, making you do bad things to the detriment of your own people. Nobody is making you do that shit. You have a choice. If I always say, if you're not retired, Retarded, and I'm trying. I, I know I used the word retarded. Okay, um, I want to be politically correct on that one, but y'all know what I mean. If you don't have a mental issue, or if you're not an old person that 
needs to be protected and you're in your old age, you don't have no damn excuse. There is no excuse for violence against your own people. There is no excuse for not taking care of your kids. There is no excuse for running around in the streets doing drugs. There is no excuse for black on black crime. There is no excuse for none of that. It is unacceptable. It is completely fucking unacceptable. And I, as the dark skinned activist, I don't condone that shit. I don't represent that shit. Because let me tell you something. I came from a hard knock life. You understand me? My life has never been easy. Okay? I came from poverty. I'm talking about food stamps. I'm talking about multiple evictions when I was growing up. Homelessness, abuse, all that shit. But you know what? In the midst of all that, I kept it up strong here. God helped me to keep it up strong here. Never did no drugs. Never decided to go into a life of crime against my own brothers and sisters. Never uh, committing crimes against other people. And I'm not sitting up here trying to say, oh, I'm Miss Perfect because nobody is perfect. But I'm just saying, basic human care is what we need to have as dark skinned people. Reach that level. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for per perfection. And I don't want people to sit up here and think just because a motherfucker is dark skinned, that's all that it, that, that, that it needs to be. No, that's not how it is with me. That's not how it is with me. And I'm not representing that. You need to have your shit right. You need to at least be trying, putting forth some effort. And I know, like I told y'all, I know about putting forth effort. I took myself off of the streets, off of being homeless and on the streets, living in abandoned houses. I took myself out of that situation, got my GED, got my bachelor's degree, got my master's degree and turned my fucking life around. I didn't make all these excuses whining and bitching because that's what I feel like it is. A lot of it is. I feel like you would overcome any situation. It's your choice. People choose to do these things. They choose to go out and inflict violence on their own brothers and sisters. They choose to go out and do drugs. They choose to go out and be losers. You're choosing to do that shit. And if you could choose to do that, then why can't you choose to win? Why can't, and I, I mean, I'm just so pissed off. You know, I just, cause I look around my community, I see all this stuff going on and I say, you know what? And I'm a very empathetic person. But the more I sit and think about these motherfuckers that want your empathy, you know, they want you to feel sorry for them. You know what I'm saying? Because they continue to go out and make stupid ass mistakes. They ain't handling their business doing what they need to do. They want you to whine and whimper for them. I'm not going to whine and whimper for your ass. I'm not going to feel sorry for you. And as the dark skinned activist, I don't give a damn if you're dark skinned. If you ain't trying to be on that level of dark skin excellence, meaning you're not out there creating havoc on your own community. You, 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 you know, you out there trying to take care of your family. You trying to do the right thing. Whatever that may be in your situation, it could be going to school, getting a job, whatever you need to do to improve yourself. Because that's what it's really all about. It's about self-improvement. It's not about going backwards. It's about improving yourself. That's the type of dark skin advocacy and activism that I support. Not these motherfuckers like this Africa Bambada running around here. Not some of these motherfuckers on the internet that bring their motherfucking tired, no good, trifling asses on the internet. And y'all you already know who you are. I ain't even got to say your motherfucking names. All these trifling motherfuckers running around here, running their mouth, you know, living in these communities. Like I said, what are you, you, what are you doing? What are you doing for your own people? What have you done for your own people? And I'm not talking about giving them no handout. I'm talking about tangible things like helping older people in the community. Or maybe tutoring kids. What, what are you doing? Some of these motherfuckers are engaged in nothing but a bunch of buffoonery and fuckery. And it's despicable to me. And I wanted to make sure that I made this video to speak on that shit. You know, to be honest with y'all, I actually cut myself off from people. I have, in the, in, in the 2016, I have cut myself off from these drag down, 
tired ass, no good ass motherfuckers, despicable motherfuckers, backstabbing ass motherfuckers, I left them alone. And I'm going to tell you, my life has been a lot more productive without these motherfuckers. So I just want y'all to know very clearly, I want to be real clear, I do not support or advocate for all dark skinned people. You know, and when I say that, I'm talking about the ones that are engaged in ignorance and buffoonery. I do not support it. I will never support it because I'm dark skinned and I pulled myself up and I'm continuously on the come up, which I got haters that's watching me. They mad and they jealous and you know who you are. Yup, yup. The jealousy and the envy is real. Don't want to see, and I'm talking about these people, they all colors and hues, dark skinned people, light skinned people, um, they all colors and hues, male and female, you know, that wish to see this dark skinned woman down, that are jealous. Yup, you're jealous, and I'm just now starting to recognize it because I've been a very trusting person a lot of my life. But God is allowing me to see, God has allowed me to see the snakes. And there's a lot of snakes out there. They're not fucking real. They're not fucking real. And they don't like me because I'm fucking real. Yep. They don't like me because I have an extreme work ethic. I get it done. I never stop. I'm relentless. And they don't like that shit. They're jealous of that shit. And that's another thing. I'm tired of dark skinned people being jealous of other dark skinned people. Okay? You don't have to be jealous of another dark skinned person. Whatever God put you on this earth to do, do it. Do it. Don't talk about it. Get up off your ass and get it done. While you're wasting your time sitting up here worrying about what somebody else is doing and critiquing what the fuck they're doing, you could have been unused that time to get things done yourself. You know, I got people on, uh, uh, for example, my Facebook haters. These motherfuckers spend so much time sitting up here worrying about me, reporting my posts and all that idiot shit. But you know what, honey? You can't stop me because I got this up here. Yup, this, this right here got me off the streets from being homeless. This right here got me my master's degree. Yup, a homeless, former homeless, exploited Dark skinned young lady ends up getting her master's degree, getting herself off the streets, never came to the streets by doing drugs or alcohol or doing none of that idiot shit. Mine's stronger than that. Did what I needed to do. Yup. Yup, sure did. Didn't run around here having eight baby daddies. I ain't do none of that. That's why I don't feel sorry for a lot of these motherfuckers. They want you to feel sorry for them. They want to make excuses. Uh-uh. Life is not about excuses. Life is about getting up off your ass and getting it done. And I realize, I realize because a lot of these motherfuckers, they sit back and they watch and they see what I do and they hate. Well, you could be jealous and hater all you want to. You keep hating. You shouldn't. I'm not condoning that. Because I don't believe in hating on nobody. But I'm just saying, I'm letting you know, you're not going to stop me. You're not going to stop me. In fact, haters that wanted to see me on Facebook, haters, I, I'd like to thank you. Because I've gotten my fourth dark skin book written. Yep, four dark skin books in what, two years. Yep, it's called Discipline. Yep, in fact, I want y'all to check out those of you. The haters and the lovers. I got darkism coming up. Darkism, 25 ways dark skinned people are discriminated against. Coming up. It's going to be coming out soon. Um, it's going to be in the form of an electronic book. All you got to do is email me. You know, you can email me for your copy. And yes, there is going to be a fee for the book. I do have one free book that I offer on my website, and it's called How to Be the Hottest Dark Skinned Chick on the Planet. It is the first motivational book in the world for dark skinned women. So you can go to my website, RashidaStrober.com, and get that book. But Darkism will be released soon, and um, it is, it is going to be a fee for that book. But anyway, I just want to thank my haters because, yep, in my absence from Facebook, See, I don't waste time. I don't believe in wasting time. 
I got another book written. I'm going to always keep it coming. You can't stop me. I want you to understand that clearly. You can't stop me because I'm smarter than you on my worst day. I got more stamina than you on my worst day. I got more persistence than you on my work. Why? Because I'm me. Because I'm me. God made me strong. You know what I'm saying? So I want you to understand that clearly, haters. And for those of you out there that support me, man, I love y'all with all my heart and soul. And I want to encourage y'all to let's do things to bring ourselves up. Let's do things. Let's not sit back and hate on each other. It's not necessary because God blessed all of us with certain gifts and talents. Let's not sit back and do things to destroy one another and, 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 and stab each other in the back and all this old nasty shit that a lot of us do. To, that's like, like I told y'all, I had to cut some motherfuckers off in 2016 and I'm so glad I did it. So glad I freed myself up, you know, because I'm one of the most giving people that you ever want to meet. But once you fucking stab me in my back, I'm done with you. I'm done. Over. Finished. I ain't got time for that. So, like I was saying, we as black people in general and dark skinned people in particular, we got to hold ourselves up to a high standard of excellence. We got to use everything that God has gave us to advance and to succeed. We should not put that energy into negativity. We should put all of that energy into uh, positive results, getting results, getting results. And if you are dealing with someone that is negative, that's on a negative path, I don't give a damn who they are. I don't give a damn if they're your mama. I don't give a damn if it's your brother, your sister, your best friend. I don't give a damn. Cut them motherfuckers off. Take it from me. It's taken me a long time to realize that that's what I had to do. It's taken me a long time to see the snakes. It's taken me a long time to realize to stop being so giving while motherfuckers was taking, taking and taking and taking. That's what a lot of us do. We take, but we never give anything in fucking return. Vicious snakes. That's what they do. And it makes me angry. Yup. Y'all might be watching this video saying, oh, she angry. Yup. Because I sit down and I think about all these things. And I think about how I'm a giving person from here. Because I know what it feels like. I understand what it feels like to, to, have, to want somebody to help you when you're trying to make it, when you're trying to be productive. And so I try my best to give. But like I said, a lot of us in the black community, all we motherfucking know how to do is take. All we know how to do is use. And all we know how to do is backstab. And that's why we're not going to get nowhere. That's why we're not going to come up. A lot of us. Because we too busy trying to fucking take from each other. We too busy with the crab in the bucket mentality. And that shit has got to stop. Stop trying to tear somebody else down. Stop the black on black violence. Stop the illegal activities of doing illegal shit. Stop. Stop the violence in our communities. Stop the backstabbing. Stop the backbiting. Take care of your kids. Raise your kids. Don't neglect your children. That's very important. All these motherfuckers out here neglecting their kids. I can't stand people like that. I can't stand people that have all these fucking excuses for why they can't take care of their kids. It's no excuse. You brought the child into the world. You need to take care of the child. If you didn't want to have the child, then you know what you should have did? You should have not had sex. You should have used the condom and made sure the motherfucker didn't pop. Or maybe you should have even had an abortion. Yup, I said it. Got too many motherfuckers bringing children into the world knowing damn well they're not responsible. Knowing damn well they can't take care of the kid. And then the children suffer because these son of a bitch motherfuckers want to do what they want to do and they're not adequately able to take care of their child. See, this is the type of stuff that black people need to hear, straight up and down. This is the type of stuff that we need to hear. You know, it's the truth. The truth is what's going to set us free. Oh, you got, you got motherfuckers walking around in the black community trying to be cool. All they think about is trying to be cool. They're not thinking about 
um, things that are, are it's going to be productive or enhance themselves or their families, they worry about what other people think. They're not thinking about being healthy and taking care of themselves. They on all this other bullshit. So what I'm saying is black people, dark skinned people, wake the fuck up. And I don't support all of you because again, I myself ascribe to a high level of dark skin excellence and I'm not supporting anyone. I don't care if you are black as my shirt. Like I said, I'm not supporting anyone that's not on that same level. I'm not. It ain't going to happen. Nope. But for those of you dark skinned people out there that are striving to be the best human being you could be, that are striving to use the gifts and the talents that God gave you. I support you 110%. And like I said, if you got some motherfuckers that's out there that's watching you, that's jealous because they don't want to see you come up, cut them motherfuckers off. Do like I did. Rashida Strober, the world's first dark skin activist. Rashida Strober, the inventor of dark skin activism. Do like I did. I cut these motherfuckers off in 2016. Do the same thing. Cut them off. Cut them off. Leave them alone. It's your life. You don't need them. Trust me. You'll be a hell of a whole lot more productive without these motherfuckers. They're users. They're hangers on. You don't need them. Cut their asses off. Because I guarantee that the ones that you, some of these people that you hanging on to, they're a detriment to you. They're a detriment to you achieving your goals and getting your stuff done. You know what I'm saying? Because a, a lot of them, we got the crab in the bucket mentality. They're jealous. I'm telling you, so many people, they sit back and they watch me. They hate. I know it. I know it. It took me a while to get there. They mad because I'm a relentless, pers persistent person. I'm going to tell you why. I sat down and I figured it out. I looked at my strengths. I got a lot of strengths that I never realized. That's another thing. Realize your strengths. I'm a persistent, hardworking person. I know how to get shit done. I'm persistent. I never fucking give up. If it's something that I want to do, I'm going to get it done. Come in hell and high water, Rashida is going to get it done. And some people look at you and they don't like that shit. They mad because they haven't realized that they could do the same thing. So what they do is they sit back and they're jealous and they hate on you. They hate on you. Yep. I discovered that. That, that, was, uh, that that's what was going on in my own life. So what I'm saying to y'all, to you, is you got to cut them off and so you can keep elevating and moving up. I hope that those of you that are watching this video, I hope you learned something tonight. I hope you, I hope you could listen to some of my words and take what I'm saying and you know what I'm saying? Use it to elevate yourself because it's all about elevation. Charity begins at home. You can't help nobody else unless you help yourself first that is very important okay i want to thank you guys for watching this video and like i said i want you guys to look out for my upcoming book and it's practically done <laughs> um darkism 25 ways that dark skinned people are discriminated against also look out for my upcoming show that i will be live streaming burnt black crispy biscuits and also look out for a dark skinned woman's revenge it will be coming to a city near you I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I love you. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Go to my website, RashidaStrober.com. And thank you guys for watching this video. And y'all have a wonderful evening.